Okay, in this lecture we're going to finish up inspection analysis equations and we're going to do it for the bipolar junction transistor. Now the first thing that we need to know is what the intrinsic resistance is looking into any of the terminals of the transistor and we're going to start with the intrinsic resistance of the transistor looking into the base R little b and this is equal to R pi plus 1 plus beta forward of the transistor times any extrinsic resistance connected to the emitter. The resistance looking into the collector is equal to R out of the transistor times 1 plus little gm times any extrinsic resistance tied to the emitter. Finally, the resistance looking into the emitter is approximately equal to 1 over gm. Now, much like the MOS transistor, the common emitter transistor, uh, or amplifier uh, with a bipolar transistor is an amplifier where we take the output on the collector and the input on the base of the transistor and this is uh, of course going to take our generalized form of GM times RT. Common base amplifier is one where we take our output on the collector and our input on the emitter of course generalized form GM times RT and finally the common collector or emitter follower is one where we take our output on the emitter and our input on the base and our generalized form will be GM times RT. Now for the common emitter GM we've already actually seen in a prior lecture is equal to minus little GM divided by 1 plus little GM times any resistance connected to the emitter extrinsically and the total resistance is equal to any extrinsic resistance in the collector in parallel with the intrinsic resistance from the collector. The common base amplifier, big GM is simply equal to little gm and our total is equal to RC in parallel with RC intrinsic resistance in parallel with extrinsic resistance tied to the collector. Finally for our common collector amplifier we can say GM is equal to little gm divided by 1 plus little gm times any resistance tied to the emitter and our R total is simply equal to RE the extrinsic resistance tied to the emitter. Now, uh, as with the MOSFET amplifiers, the common emitter amplifier uh, in the bipolar case can be used for voltage or current gain. The common base amplifier can only give us voltage gain, no current gain. And the common collector amplifier can only give us current gain with no voltage gain. Uh, the common collector or emitter follower is commonly used as a voltage buffer. Okay, so we'll stop there. Um, your uh, homework this week will have uh, to do with solving uh, these equations and uh, also practicing some inspection analysis.